Okay, let's move to the next question. So you guys are working in Japan, right? Yeah. And have you ever experienced like a uh, culture shock when it comes to working or talking yes. with Japanese people? Yes. The, the Japanese working style is a very group nature. Yes. And so people don't really think about what they're doing. They just kind of run around and do it and they don't really think about it. How to do it better or, or am I wasting time or、um, you know, like, why am I doing this? I think that people like, they just like, follow directions. You know, the boss says, do this! And then they go, like, okay, and they're running around and, and they don't really think about, wait a minute, what am I actually doing? Even worse is because I am actually thinking about what I'm doing, it looks like I'm not working. To the Japanese, it looks like, well, you're just standing there. What, why aren't you working? And I, like, no, I'm actually thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> And you're not doing that. You're just kind of running around here. You're not you're here. You're there. It's, like, you know, like, it's like a hamster, you know? And so,、um, <laughs> you know, so I, I think that it's, a, it's just a different idea about work.、Mm-hmm. I think both have good points because if you work together as a group, you can get things done faster, but you need a director. You have to have a boss, you know? And in America, we like to think, you know, anyone can be a boss. But, you, you know, like if you have an original idea, you can get rewarded. You can actually get money from your job. If you have a, how do I do this better? You can get money from your job.、Um, uh, some companies, they'll pay you to get a better idea. Okay, why are, can we do this better?、Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it's, it's like that balance. You know, some have, there's good points and bad points.、Yeah. I think working in Japan, like mainly for a foreigner, you have to get used to the Japanese customs. But once you get used to it, it's, it's not so bad. I mean, there's good, there's bad.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think the key is you have to decide. Like, this is a line, and this is a line I will not cross. So, you have to have your own policy, you have to have your own stance.、Mm-hmm. And if you have that, I think it's very easy to work in Japan.、Mm-hmm. And I think、um, in Japan, you guys need to read the line, you know, kuki o yomu. So, so, you need to do、yeah. that, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. definitely I think that's、true. very important. And I think, I think if you have like, I think if you have some foreigners who are not good at that, I think for them it's very easy to get frustrated in Japan.、Mm-hmm. But if you can do that, it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah I, do, I do think also, look, I have to say this that, that the, right now the visa system for foreigners is not good because you know, you're very limited. You have a, like a box that you can work in, and that's all. You know, and it, you know, if you want, if you have talent and you have experience, but you have a visa that says only this work, it's very hard to do something else, even though it can make your life better. That because of your visa, you know, like a teacher visa or、um, uh, entertainer visa or whatever, you have, you're in a box and you can't, you know, even like, like、uh, for example, when we, when we, I think when we first came to Japan, teaching English was, you know, it was, you could make a, There was a, like,、uh, I think for one year, 250,000 yen. That was a guaranteed promised wage. And I think, I think the LDP, they changed that. They, they, they erased that. So now the salaries have gone down.、Mm. So we have experience, we have talents, but we can't use it because our visa says teaching only. So it's kind of a problem in that, you know,、um, like many people, they like to freelance, they like to work free on, in side jobs. But The visa, the visa is we can't, we can't do that. So, you know, I think if you do it a little, it's okay. But, but if you make a lot of money, then the, the immigration and the tax、uh, ministry, they say, well, why, where's this money coming from?、Mm-hmm. It's kind、okay. of a problem. The most unusual thing I've ever heard was it's difficult. In America, it's difficult means it's a challenge, but I will try to do it. In Japan, it's difficult means we can't do it. Oh, it's interesting. So I've had people say, Oh, I've asked people, can we do this? And they've said, It's difficult. In America, it's difficult means this is a challenge, let's try to do it. In Japan, it's difficult means we can't do it. Because people don't like to speak directly here. Um, so in America, we would say it's impossible. It's impossible, it means we can't do it. But in Japan, they say it's difficult, means I can do it, but it's a big problem. It's a headache, it, you know, it's a lot of work, 
And so we're supposed to say, oh, it's a lot of work, so let's cancel. But, you know, um, in America, it's like, it's difficult. Well, good, let's have a challenge. Let's, you know, this is a challenge. This is uh, something to make ourselves better. Not like, oh, it's, you know, it's, oh, it's a problem. I can't do it. So we're supposed to have feelings. Like, oh, okay. So it's going to give you a headache. You know, you're going to, you are going to work, you're going to work late. You have to have extra time. Okay, let's cancel. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the last question. Do you, do you guys recommend uh, living in Japan and working in Japan for foreigners? Yeah, definitely. I think. Japan, like if you like Japanese culture and if you're interested in it, it's very nice and Japan is very safe. I think in general, Japanese people tend to be very nice and、um, I like it a lot. I mean, you know, I come from America,、uh, as all of us come from America, and in America, there's always a danger you're gonna get robbed, you're gonna, I don't know, you might get in a car accident and Maybe the person in the other car, they have a gun or something. There's always like a real danger in America. I mean, in your daily life, no, but over the course of your life, there's danger. Like my best friend in university, he drove home from work one day and there were three gang members waiting at his house and they stole his car and they stole his money and they had guns and, and it was really scary. So, that, that kind of danger doesn't happen in Japan. So,、yeah. I think from a safety point of view, living in Japan is really nice. But also, Japan is a nice place. And、um, yeah, it's easy to live, I think. It's, it's a good place to live. Thank you.、Yeah. And you? Do you want my short answer or my long answer? Oh,、uh, I prefer long answer. <laughs> my long answer? Well, I'll give you my short answer first. Okay. Yes. <laughs> my, really short. My, my long answer? <laughs> my long answer? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Japan, Japan is wonderful.、Mm. Everything is great. The transportation is great. The food is great. The people are great. It's amazing. It's a wonderful country.、Yeah. Wow, I'm glad to hear that.、Really. And also, one thing really nice is in Japan. If you, have, if you have like most jobs, you will have health care. And so, if you have problems with your teeth, or if you have a stomach ache, or if you get a cold, or you break your finger, or any kind of health care problem, it's so cheap and it's so easy to get taken care of. Like, sometimes you may have to wait, like, it takes time, but you will always get treatment. and... Your life is not ruined by paying for health care.、Mm. But in many countries, I think it's very difficult to have good health care.、Yeah, And especially、sure. like dental care, I think in Japan, the dental care is the best. I think. Oh, really? I had, I had maybe because when I was a kid, I ate a lot of sweets. And I drank a lot of cola, so I had a lot of teeth problems before. But when I came to Japan, everything taken care of, and it's so cheap compared to America.、Mm. So cheap. Like I, I had a crown. A crown is.、Uh, oh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. I had a crown, and in Japan, like maybe from the start to the end, it cost like maybe n i m a y e n But the same procedure in America would cost like Niju Maya. Oh. Yeah. It's like so much more. And maybe even more.、Mm-hmm. So, when it comes to your health and your safety, Japan is definitely really nice. Yeah, I think、uh, it's the only in condition that you can get insurance, like Jap- Japanese government insurance, right? Yeah. And it, it applies to foreigners? Yeah. I think if you have a job, yes. yes. If you don't、um, have a job, I don't know. I, I can't say. Well, well, I think you can get private insurance here and it's still cheaper than America.、Um, but if your job covers your insurance, that's better. And、um, even if you have to be on the national health care insurance, which means you have to pay by yourself every month,、um, that it's still way, way better than what you would get in America because there's no national system. 
we don't have a national system in America. Everything is state by state. And so in some states, you have to pay a horrible bill. And then if you go to the next state, it's much cheaper, but, but it's still like, like 10 times as much as here. Um, and that especially is important if you're older. You know, if you're a young person and you're in good health, you know, you're like 20 years old, they go, what in health insurance? Fuck! <laughs> you know, I'm going, fuck, no. <laughs> I don't, I need health insurance. But if you're 40, or you get to be 40 or 50, and you, you know, you're not sure about how long your health is going to last, it's really important. Mm -hmm. Because um, you'll need medicine. Um, you might not get, you know, like an injury or anything. Like I, my thumb is injured. I injured my thumb last Friday. Um, and you might need medicine. Um, and that's really expensive, too. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, yeah, it's something to think about, especially if you're older, because it's, you know, your health might not last. Now you're in great health. Now you feel great, but tomorrow you don't know. Um, so that's really a big deal. Um, but that, now that said, that said, I would say that coming to Japan now with the changes that, with the economy and everything, I would say if you have, like, you know, you have not just speaking English, but if you have some real skills. Um, maybe you've worked in IT, um, you worked in communications. If you have some real s skills that you know people want, I'd say definitely come here. Definitely come here. If you're just looking like, oh, teaching English is easy. Yeah, that was 20 years ago. Oh. Not today. Not today. Um, that whole market has been, you know, if you happen to be lucky and you work for a city, that's great. But most people know if you're a jet, if you're a jet like we were, that's fine. But if you come here to work for a private, in the private teaching market, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. I wouldn't do it because it's it's a great job today, but there's no future. There's no benefits. There's no pension. You're not really building anything for your future. So I would I would not recommend someone do that, just because they speak English. Now, if you have, like I said, you have a background in business, IT, IT yeah, plus teaching, plus speaking English. That's great. Okay. That's great. I would I would not say just come here to teach English because you think it's going to be good money. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Um, oh, you know, that's interesting. It, yeah. Okay. No, it it will not it will not it will not build toward your future. You know, because you need to think about what's going to happen five years from now, ten years from now. Yeah. You're still going to be teaching English. You know, um, I'd say I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.